Hi guys, I welcome you all to the next lecture in our anthropology series. Uh, so today uh, we are going to start with our next chapter and that is research methods in anthropology and lately uh, what I have also noticed is that the the uh, weightage of this chapter is increasing. Okay? So for that reason now this chapter becomes very important. So we are going to deal with this chapter as much as we require it. right? So today we are going to cover one of the most important parts of this chapter and that is the uh, you know the field work tradition in anthropology. So let's get started with our today's video. Yes, so field work tradition in anthropology as you know that anthropology may take a field work tradition has been one of the core areas right they are one of the core areas that means no uh, study gets completed till the time there is no field work lately uh, when we have seen in the the development of the discipline of anthropology field work tradition got a very important place in the subject itself and that was because the earlier anthropologists they were merely armchair anthropologists that means they never went to the place to actually study them to actually know about them and they were just uh, you know making their theories or they were generalizing based on you know uh, they were not sure about that because they never visited those places they never saw the people so they have halved half baked generalizations right so to to end this fieldwork tradition was uh, you know devised and it was not one person or one person's contribution to the subject but many uh, people in the course of development of this subject that is anthropology this fieldwork tradition gained ground right so let's get uh, started with it yes so anthropology today in in today's time you can also call it as a field science right field science because uh, you know anthropology is a science that is for sure field science is lay because field work is very very important and you know you can say what uh, what laboratory is for a scientist field is for a anthropologist so this is a quote that you can use how much important field work tradition is or has become in the course of uh, development of the discipline okay so margaret mead has said that we still have no way to make an anthropologist except by sending him to the field that means this shows that how important is the field work in the anthropology so field work kya hota hai what is field work basically field work uh, yes so field work basically is the study of people their culture their habits right in their natural habitat so field work is very important because till the time you don't go to the field you don't study the people you do not know what their requirements are you their culture is what their socio uh, culture settings are so you cannot make generalizations so the uh, field work also teaches us the distinction between po what people think and what people say right so isme you can also if if you remember a little bit in edmund leach when we were doing the anthropological theories i told you in edmund leach that there is a statistical norm and there is a social norm for example in every society including indian society we believe that cigarette smoking is bad and alcohol uh, consumption is bad but still the social norm is this that you know it is bad cigarette smoking alcohol consumption is bad but statistical norm kya bolta hai it says that people even then do it that means what hum what we believe and what we say or what we do you know there is not there is not a convergence in that there is divergence in those things so with field work we can actually understand what are the social norms what are the statistical norms so now you see this topic and many other topics okay are going to be very clear in your mind because anthropological theories humne bahut acche se cover ki hai because most of the you can say the essence of the subject is in the theories itself that is chapter 6 so jisko chapter 6 aata hai 
उसके लिए सब्जेक्ट इज क्वाइट ईजी राइट सो वट एवर वी आर गोइंग टू डू हियर इज द कल्मिनेशन ऑफ वट वी हैव स्टडीड इन द एंथ्रोपोलॉजिकल थ्योरीज यू विल सी यू विल सी इट नाउ सो बेसिकली फील्ड वर्क से हमें एक्चुअली में पता चलता है वॉट इज द डाइवर्जेंस राइट कि वॉट सोसाइटी बिलीव इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग वॉट सोसाइटी एक्चुअली डज इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग राइट सो इट ऑफर्स अस फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी दैट मीन्स अब ये तो एक बात होगी इसके अलावा फील्ड वर्क ऑफर्स अस फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी बिकॉज द पर्सन कैन मॉडिफाई द अप्रोच एंड द टेक्निक ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड कलेक्शन ऑफ डेटा सो फील्ड वर्क क्या है वी आर गोइंग टू द सोसाइटी वी आर ट्राइंग टू स्टडी हम उस सोसाइटी में जाते हैं वी गो देयर वी ट्राई टू लर्न देयर लैंग्वेज वी लिव विद देम वी आस्क देम क्वेश्चन वी टेक डेटा कलेक्ट डेटा राइट एंड यू नो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द काइंड ऑफ प्लेस और सोसाइटी यू आर स्टडिंग यू कैन फ्लेक्सिबली चूज योर टेक्निक्स और इन्वेस्टिगेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर गोइंग टू अर्बन सेटिंग ठीक है वेर पीपल आर लिटरेट सो यू कैन यूज द द मेथड्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन एयर राइट शेड्यूल्स इंटरव्यूज राइट बट बट द पॉपुलेशन इफ यू आर गोइंग इन द विलेज सेटिंग वेर पीपल आर लार्जली यू नो इलिटरेट देन दे यू कैन कैन नॉट यूज क्वेश्चन एज वेरी इफेक्टिवली बिकॉज देन दे विल बी अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ रीडिंग राइट सो इस हिसाब से देर इज द फील्ड वर्क ऑफर्स यू फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी ऑल्सो टू चेंज योर अप्रोच एंड टेक्निक बेस्ड ऑन द काइंड ऑफ फील्ड दैट यू आर गोइंग टू एंड ऑन द स्पॉट स्ट्रैटेजीज यू कैन डिवाइस राइट किसको विच पर्सन यू हैव टू टैकल इन वॉट वे फील्ड वर्क आपको सिखाता है सो वेन एंथ्रोपोलॉजी बिगेन एज अ वैलिड डिसिप्लिन इट्स प्रिकर्सर दो वेरी मच इंटरेस्टेड इन नोइंग अबाउट हाउ पीपल लिवड ऑल ओवर ठीक है दे वर नॉट इंक्लाइन टू वर्स गोइंग टू दोज प्लेसेस विजिटिंग दैम एंड देन टेकिंग देर यू नो कलेक्ट देन कलेक्टिंग डेटा दैट मीन्स दे वर बेसिकली आर्म चेयर एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट सो वी नो हमने क्लासिकल्स पढ़े हैं क्लासिकल एवोल्यूशनिस्ट पढ़े हैं ठीक है इवन डिफ्यूजनेस ऑल्सो ठीक है टू मच एक्सटेंट इसमें आप यू कैन कोट ई बी टेलर ठीक है देन फ्रेजर ही इज लॉर्ड ऑफ वर्क वॉज यू नो बेस्ड ऑन वॉट ट्रेवलोग्स वॉयजर्स मिशनरीज ट्रेडर्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर इनका बहुत ज़्यादा यू नो दे डेटा वॉज टेकन फ्रॉम दीज सोर्सेज सो दे वर द सेकेंडरी सोर्सेज दैट मीन्स नॉट कलेक्टेड ऑन देयर ओन एंड नॉट फ्री फ्रॉम द बायस ऑल्सो because if you are doing a research for suppose you are trying to do a research right when you are doing uh, doing a research there are certain objectives that you have to follow the first objective would be that you have to be free from bias free of bias right that means aapke dimag mein there shouldn't be any bias regarding that community that social uh, setting uh, You are going to study the people, right? उनके खिलाफ आपके दिल में कोई बायस नहीं होनी चाहिए Only then you are going to collect a very authentic data. So be in order to be authentic, you need to be free from bias. You need to give them your time, right? Time देना पड़ेगा Appropriate techno uh, techniques use करनी पड़ेंगी right? Because अगर आप जाके एक illiterate setting में क्वेश्चन है यूज करोगे मे बी इतना सक्सेसफुल ना रहे राइट सो अप्रोप्रिएट टेक्निक शुड बी यूज सो दीज आर सर्टन कोर फंडामेंटल्स दैट अ रिसर्चर एंड ऑब्जर्वर अ फील्ड वर्कर शुड ऑलवेज नो दैट मीन्स दे वर कलेक्टिंग सेकेंडरी डेटा विच वॉज नॉट फ्री फ्रॉम बायस विच वॉज क्रिएटेड और यू नो कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम सम अदर परस्पेक्टिव एंड नाउ यू आर यूजिंग इट फॉर सम अदर परस्पेक्टिव फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई से टू यू दैट आई यू नो आई Uh, collected certain household data to see the health conditions or i should i'll be uh, more specific anemia conditions anemia conditions in women okay main anemia condition ke liye maine kuch household surveys kiya maine women ke uh, data collect kiya and now this data is used for some other purpose for example uh, child mortality theek hai दो इट इज रिलेटेड दो अनिमिया कैन बी अ रीजन फॉर चाइल्ड मोर्टैलिटी बट इट मे नॉट बी द ओनली रीजन फॉर चाइल्ड मोर्टैलिटी दैट मीन्स मेरा डेटा दिस पर्सन हुज माई डेटा फॉर चाइल्ड मोर्टैलिटी का 
study for him my data is a secondary source right so when he is using a secondary source my data might not be suiting his needs because my data was collected for certain other purpose he is using for certain other purpose so in uh, along with the uh, the thing that it is not free from bias the data collected is always you know you uh, collected in certain different manner and used by these in some other manner that means wo data itna itna authentic bhi nahi hoga us study ke liye because us us reason se collect hi nahi kiya gaya tha right so this is one thing jo jaise for example somebody who's just a trader wo apne type ka data collect karega right एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट को अपनी अपनी फील्ड में उसको फिट करना है तो वो तो मिसफिट डेटा हो गया ना ट्रेडर ने डेटा किसी और इकोनॉमिक परस्पेक्टिव से किया होगा हमें किसी और परस्पेक्टिव से यूज करना है सो देन देर इज अ मिस मैच सो दे वर कॉल्ड आमचर एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट इसमें यू कैन कोड द क्लासिकल एवल्यूशनिस्ट एंड डिफ्यूजनिस्ट राइट सो देन द फर्स्ट टाइम यू कैन से द फील्ड वर्क वेन वेन इट वॉज यूज इट वॉज बाय एल एच मॉर्गन so he basically did a study on iroquois indians and he wrote also a book called the league of iroquois theek hai in which he studied their family marriage kinship theek hai that was the first time anybody actually went to the field and collected the data but abhi bhi even till now the data the field work was not such a full fledged process it was evolving that means in the criticism of classical evolutionists and diffusionist there was a major criticism that they did not collect the data on their own that means they did not have any primary data to back their theories so at least lh morgan did certain field work and then started the process of field work tradition in anthropology but the person who who actually gave a philip or you can say a stimulus to the field work tradition were first the you know franz boas theek hai and apart from them brit uh, rivers and head on theek hai they were the british uh, anthropologist who did their major studies in torres straits okay before uh, franz boa and then franz boa came he did his studies on eskimos theek hai in canada theek hai and then he gave his own concept of cultural relativism theek hai then field work tradition theek hai he was a staunch believer that one anthropologist must go collect the data on its own and study the culture in its own cultural settings that means he gave the concept of cultural relativism and usse pehle rivers he focused on uh, you know he he did the study on todas and he also mentioned that there was importance of visiting and directly gathering knowledge of societies so if we have to create a timeline if we have to create a certain timeline in our mind so we can say sabse pehle there were armchair anthropologist jo who were doing nothing right uh, inke paas kuch data nahi tha nothing was there abhi tak field work tradition hadn't come so iske baad there were certain people jaise aap keh lo rivers theek hai head on and boas theek hai they were british he was american रिवर्स ने बेजर स्टडी करी है अपनी टोडास पे एंड हेडॉन ने अपनी स्टडी करी है टॉरिस स्ट्रेट में ठीक है इन्होंने एंड इसके बीच में इरोक्स इंडियंस पे स्टडी करी है इरोक्स इंडियंस पे स्टडी करी है एल एच मॉर्गन ने राइट सो मॉर्गन वाज़ द फर्स्ट पर्सन हु यूज्ड फील्ड वर्क ट्रेडिशन उसके बाद a lot of british uh, anthropologists like rivers and hadon did certain studies and then actually mujhe boas ko alag likhna chahiye because his contribution was a lot more so timeline ke hisab se the next would be boas and with him the field work tradition you can say kind of got firm or form uh, formalized formalized because a he gave a system Why, he told why field work tradition was important why you need to go to the field and study he gave his own concept of cultural relativism with it theek hai so field work got formalized in times of franz boa theek hai he 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 was a staunch critic of 
half baked generalization as was done by classical evolutionist and diffusionist and all so he said that he introduced new ways of doing field work of cultural relativism ethnographic field work ethnography you know scientific description of a certain culture right culture uh, so society anything so he he was of the view jaise when he went to the eskimos in the baffin bay he gave a very very ethnographic a uh, uh, field work a very very cultural relativistic field work right on the eskimos so he tried to understand them he tried to understand their culture their their uh, their socio uh, environmental economical settings and based on that he tried to study their traits or their culture their their what they behave how they behave why they behave right so boas was very important and the next important person after boas if there was any that was melinowski in boas time field work tradition was formalized but who extensively used it was the melinowski so the narration cannot be complete without me- mentioning uh, Bra- brownis law melinowski he was a polish anthropologist and he his uh, major field work was uh, in trobri and allens of Pap- papua new guinea and he he gave certain other parameters for doing a field work he said apart from what uh, franz boas has said ki ethnographic field work karna chahiye then uh, there should be a cultural relativism with which you must do a field work iske sath he added that participant observation is very important ठीक है कम्युनिकेटिंग इन द लोकल लैंग्वेज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ व्हाट इज पार्टिसिपेंट ऑब्जर्वेशन आई जस्ट टेल यू पार्टिसिपेंट ऑब्जर्वेशन होता है दैट एक तो हो गया डेटा कलेक्ट करना यू आर कलेक्टिंग डेटा बाय आस्किंग देम क्वेश्चंस ठीक है यू आर गोइंग देयर इधर थ्रू क्वेश्चन एज शेड्यूल्स इंटरव्यूज यू आर आस्किंग डेटा एंड यू आर कलेक्टिंग डेटा दैट मीन्स द इंटरव्यूअर द पर्सन हु इज टेकिंग द इंटरव्यू एंड द पर्सन हु इज गिविंग द इंटरव्यू they both know that we are you know uh, giving or taking certain data that means there a a level of consciousness comes in for example if i am a female okay and and somebody comes to me and asks me that do you uh, 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 do you con- uh, you know uh, consume alcohol so in that case even if i do even if i do right so i will be you know i will not say it maybe because there is societal pressure on me that means if if the societal norm is that women should not drink i might not be able to uh, you know say it uh, so openly right so when participant observation is that interviewer need not ask everything and then observe the people also that means then he can take out the social norm from the statistical norm that means up you know what people say and what people actually do so participant observation se aapko pata chalega what people actually do right so participant observation mein observation aa jati hai that means you're not not asking things explicitly but then you're just observing them and trying to understand what people do so he added field work mein ki field work mein ek to ho gaya you know you're explicitly questioning them and then participant observation bhi bahut important hai then learning the vernaculars or the language of the people because in translation a lot of message is misinterpreted so learning the vernaculars asking them questions in that uh, taking their answers in their own mother tongue will be a lot better because the the uh, the misinterpretation the part of misinterpretation is largely reduced in that so he believes ki aapko ek acha rapport banana chahiye because if you do not build a good rapport people might not answer you or they might not be uh, you know they might be hesitant so if if there are female uh, observe, uh, you know uh, people who you have to take your interview then you have to uh, if you are a male for example and you have to take female interviews दे माइट नॉट बी कम्फर्टेबल तो आपको उनको उनके साथ एक रेपो बनाना पड़ेगा यू हैव टू बी देर फॉर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल कि आप उनका एग्जॉस्टिव डेटा एक दिन में दो दिन में ले पाए सो दिस वॉज ऑल वॉट वॉज मेलिनॉस्कीज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड देन आफ्टर दैट फ्रांस बुआज का तो हमने देख लिया एंड फ्रांस बुआज ने एक और चीज बोली थी दैट वीमेन एंट्री 
इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज जो वॉट फीमेल्स कैन डू एज अ फील्ड वर्कर नो बडी एल्स कैन डू बिकॉज दे ही ऑल्सो बिलीव दैट दे हैव मोर इंट्यूटिव एंड स्किल इन 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 मैनेजिंग इंटरपर्सनल रिलेशनशिप्स सो दे बिलीव दैट वीमेन हैव मोर इंट्यूटिव एंड स्किल इन यू नो मैनेजिंग इंटरपर्सनल रिलेशनशिप सो दिस वॉज वॉट बोआस बिलीव एंड मेनी स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बोआस रूथ बेनेडिक मार्गरेट मीट कॉरडो बॉयस दे ऑल डिड फील्ड वर्क इन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटीज नाइनटीन थर्टीज राइट सो वीमेन एंट्री वॉज इंपॉर्टेंट वंस अ मेल डोमिनेटेड स्पेस इट वॉज आफ्टर वर्ल्ड वॉर मेनी फीमेल एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट ज्वाइन द सब्जेक्ट एंड दे गिव अ न्यू डायरेक्शन टू द सब्जेक्ट ठीक है न्यू डायरेक्शन बिकॉज दे स्टार्टेड टू एड द द नोशन ऑफ फेमिनिज्म नोशन ऑफ सेक्शुअलिटी इन देयर वर्क दे शोड हाउ द जेंडर बायसेज आर देयर राइट जेंडर बायसेज और द फेमिनिस्टिक परस्पेक्टिव सो टू सर सो दे ब्रॉट इन अ वेरी न्यू एंड फ्रेश डायरेक्शन टू द सब्जेक्ट विच वॉज मच नीडेड एंड देन देर वर मेनी अदर्स लाइक मैरी डुगलस ठीक है शी डिड अ स्टडी इन नाइनटीन फोर्टीज ऑन रिचुअल प्योरिटी एंड इम्प्योरिटी राइट सो ये इंपॉर्टेंट न्यू परस्पेक्टिव थे विच वर गिवन टू एंथ्रोपोलॉजी वेन वीमेन ज्वाइन इट एंड यू कैन राइट अबाउट दिस सो आई थिंक वी आर डन विथ टू डेज टॉपिक दैट इज फील्ड वर्क ट्रेडिशन इन इंडिया सॉरी फील्ड वर्क ट्रेडिशन इन एंथ्रोपोलॉजी इसमें इफ यू हैव टू समराइज और कंक्लूड यू कैन आई कैन जस्ट गिव यू इट इन पॉइंटर्स फर्स्ट थिंग हमने बोला आमचेर एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट की बात करी देन हमने बात करी एल एच मॉगन की ठीक है थोड़ा सा आप उनका लिखेंगे थोड़ा आमचेर एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट का लिखेंगे उसके बाद रिवर्स एंड हैड ऑन की बात हुई देन वी टॉक अबाउट बोआस उनकी बात हुई देन वी टॉक अबाउट मेलिनॉस की हिज आइडियाज वॉट ही एडेड टू द फील्ड वर्क ट्रेडिशन एंड देन द फीमेल एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट इसमें आपके सारे आ जाएंगे लाइक कॉरडो बॉयस आ जाएगी मार्गरेट मीड आ जाएगी रूथ पेनेडिक्ट आ जाएगी मेरी डुगलस आ जाएगी राइट सो ऑल ऑफ दीज वर द एंड दिस इज हाउ द फील्ड वर्क ट्रेडिशन इन एंथ्रोपोलॉजी इवॉल्ड एंड टूडे एज मार्गरेट मीट सेज देर इज नो अदर वे टू मेक अ Uh, anthropologist but by sending her to the field that means field work or going to the field is very important what laboratory is to a scientist field work is to a anthropologist that means today if you want to become an anthropologist it is no way but to go to the field and work there so i hope you guys like this lecture if you did guys please like share and subscribe and thank you so much